Sacramento, are you ready to rock all night, all day? I hope you're warming up your neck for all that <laughs> head banging. Aftershock Music Festival kicks off in just a few hours at Discovery Park. You know, that's a good just exercise to yeah. do just in general. KZR3's Mike Desell <laughs> live at Discovery Park with a preview. Mike, you were doing some head banging a little earlier, kind of warming up your neck for the event, huh? <laughs> A lot of people warming up, getting ready as we're <laughs> counting down now to the opening of Aftershock at noon. Right behind me, that's the Coloss stage. It's right near the main stage as there are four stages this year for an event that if last year's any guide could potentially draw up to 150,000 people for this four day event. Take a look. This is some uh, video from last year's festival. What's uh, new this year? Nearly 90 bands over those four stages from multiple countries around the world. Japan, India, Finland. Gates again opening at noon. The headliners for Thursday, Slipknot, Rob Zombie, and Evanescence. Organizers say, believe it or not, there are still limited passes still available. And this is the 10th year, believe it or not, of Aftershock in Sacramento. And I spoke with the promoters and organizers, and this was their reaction to making it to this anniversary. Listen. We're so excited to be celebrating our 10th anniversary with four, four full days. Um, we've expanded a fourth stage. We have almost 100 bands here with us this weekend. So it's going to be the biggest aftershock on record. And, you know, it, to get to 10 years, um, you know, we never uh, really expected that when we started here with a one day event back in 2012. And now you can see the lineup of bands that are here this year. My favorite one, you can't see it in there just because of its name, Mike's Dead. But anyway, uh, you know, it's more about than just music. Even if you're not a music fan, this festival having a significant impact on the local economy. Visit Sacramento. Uh, they estimated last year this one event generated some $30 million in economic impact. And it's not just this weekend this year. First time this year, next weekend, they're gonna do it all over again. But instead of headbanging, they're gonna have country music. Out here at Discovery Park, <laughs> gates open at noon. Mike to sell, KCR Ray 3 We're gonna go from headbanging to line dancing. I like it. Wide range there. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Mike, thank you.